can you just stop ah, for a minute? Ah, found it, found it. <laughs> gather around, gather around. Uncle Ike is going to tell you a story. Yeah. A story before the train. You see, boys and girls, before the train, we lived in green grasses, blue skies, nice fluffy white clouds, and all was brilliant. Ah! Oh, the world started getting hot. It felt rather poorly. Oh, and it wasn't a nice place to be. Oh, no, no, no. But you see, us humans, we made a gas. We made I... a glass from modified plants that we changed ourselves. Isn't that brilliant? And you see, we made a gas that made it cool for the whole city. I... For the whole world. It cooled everything it touched. Until it got a bit out of control and it made the world a bit <laughs> frozen. <laughs> Very cold, but that is why the wonderful Wilford right, built right, us that's a train. Enough, just stop. Seriously, man. So, I'm in the middle of this. Of what? Lying to them, scaring them, lying about the train. Uh, you don't have to listen. Just let me tell my story. Yeah, that's all this is, isn't it? To you, it's all a story. That's all it's ever been to you. Leave them alone, so. Why should I? Seriously, magic plants, a gas. Like, he's just lying through his teeth. Why can't you see that? Why are you letting him spread this stuff, dude? He's not hurting anyone. It's not that far from the truth. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Axis. The gas Ike is talking about is called CW7. A couple years ago, it, um, well, it was meant to help the world, cool it down, you know. The earth was getting frighteningly hot, but there were, um, Miscalculations. Oh, come on. The CW7. My mother had to go through worse state than any of you. This lab experiment is an old man's tale. Yeah, it is. So, because yeah. the old man lived through it, alright? Okay. What? They have to know eventually, Doc. Doc? He worked in the laboratory where CW7 was created, alright? That's how he got himself a spot in the train. That's how he knows. Eight years. Eight years on this train, and you're only telling us it's now? Sam, if you helped to develop a gas that was designed to help people, to help the world you were born into, and you saw it blow up in your face and destroy everything that you held dear, would you want to talk about it? You sat there when I cried on this bed. You sat there and you said nothing. We are here because of you. Sam, that's no. enough. Let us speak. You see, boys and girls, once upon a time, the old man Doc here <laughs> lived in the <laughs> You see, he lived with a couple of his friends. I And during this time, poor Doc realised the world was getting sick. So he decided to make a medicine. A medicine that will turn the world from being uh, hot uh, to a nice temperature, to cool it down. But what he didn't realise is it went a bit too well. I... And it kind of turned the world a bit uh, frozen. <laughs> Which is why our wonderful Wilford built I us... shut the... up! We need to focus on getting food and water. These children are going to starve if we don't get it soon. We should be here by now. Well, what are you going to do about it then, Sam? You're going to try and run to the front of the train like you did during the carriage riots? Don't you dare bring that up, you pathetic coward! Oh, I'm a pathetic coward. Me and Doc saved your life, you ungrateful little That's shit. enough, you two. We are all equals in this train. We are brothers in arms now. Food will come. Have patience, Sam. Stand aside, passengers! You four over there. You, 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 and you on that side of a carriage. Now, move it! You may sit. Sit! Sit. 
Let me introduce myself. I am the hand. The hand that feeds you. The hand that keeps you warm and the hand that strikes you down. Other like, unlike many overlookers you may have had, I am not your friend. I am not your father. I am your God. And you live by my will, by my word, and by praying that I am merciful. If you want to take the power, if you want to be the big hero who defeats the big bad hand, well just know this, outside this train, no matter how good your intentions are, you all freeze the same. Split! It's alright. I fucking hate that guy. Language! There are kids! So, shall I learn to swear one day? Idiots like that, they will. Sam! <sighs> you know, I remember the first time you saw. Okay, I'm turning around. So do I, actually. <laughs> You've just fallen off your butt. You grazed your knee and you yelled out, BUGGER! Shut up! <laughs> and now for your guys' entertainment, the story of Sam! Another bloody word. Okay. Move. <laughs> um, so, mm. have you seen my charcoal? No, Ike. Maybe it fell off the train? Oh, ha, ha, ha. That joke is nearly as old as Doc. <sighs> Anyway, have you guys seen my charcoal? Have you guys seen my charcoal? No. I mean, Sam. Sam. Sam, have you seen my charcoal? Sam. What? Have you seen my um, charcoal? No. Why would I have it? How can you lose something on this train anyway? And why are you looking over here? I have the tiniest bump. Why would I have it? Sam, I'm looking your hand. What's the matter? We just can't take it anymore. One moment we have the carriage to ourselves and the next we have a bunch of kids to look after. Well, who else is going to look after them? The upper carriages? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. We have to be there for them. Like the old boy was here for us. But we don't have enough food. Well, then we'll have to make it. I really miss my mum. I'm sorry. I miss my What's that, Doc? Nothing, my boy. Passengers! Split! Down! Quickly! You, pass this around. And be spare with it. It's gonna last you the week. It's half as much as the last week. Stand! Are you moaning about how little food there is? Bring me the basket! Are you hungry, boy? You want to eat, do you? Yes, sir. Well, eat! Are you still hungry? No. Oh, you're right. There's hardly anything here. You are not passengers in my eyes. You are scum. Maggots clinging onto life. If it were up to me, you would have been thrown from this train years ago. But Wilford makes you this food. 
So you want to eat? Eat. Look at this. Is this not your natural state? No. Is this not where you should be? You lie under the feet of giants and expect not to be still. No. That's enough. What? I said stop. Dr. Casterman. Tickets expire, you know, so I'd be careful. Because like you, they expire often. <coughs> Enjoy your food. What just happened? He stood up to hand. Oh. It's alright, my boy, it's alright. Yes, but he let you go. He's never done that before. Just got lucky, I suppose. Really? I know so. Sam, what does it matter? He's gone. She's got a point though, Doc. No one's ever stood up to Anne before. Look, I just don't worry about it. Just keep handing out the food, okay? So, don't you get it? So the hand gave me That's something for seemingly no reason, and then he lives in so called down. scum and stops torturing you? Don't you think this is a bit odd? Are you accusing him of something? Well. After all he's done yes. for us. You decide to accuse him? What gives you the right? You disgust me. I give that to me. Until you can show him some proper respect, you won't be getting any of the food, Sam. Come on, soul. Like, come on. We haven't eaten for days. No, Ike. I'm going to prioritise the children. Just sit back down. Just give me the boss. No! You were just accusing him as well. I heard you clear as day question, Doc. Show him some proper respect, and then you will get some food, all right? So, give me the food back now. Why don't you make me then? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Stop, stop, give it back! Stop, stop, give it stop, back! Stop it! Give it back! You're behaving like children! Shouldn't have done that. But he questioned your loyalty, Doc. He questioned you. That's not fair. You've done so much for us, it's not right. Calm yourself. Let me have a look at that. What are you thinking? Any good? It wasn't worth fighting over. I guess not. This tastes disgusting. <clears throat> You're not right. Ike, we shouldn't have given these to the children. They deserve better. I know. But it's better than having something disgusting than to starve to death. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Look, help me prepare tomorrow's batch. What is that thing, Doc? Well, it's a... It's a letter. A letter? From... Hand? I have to go. Where? What, the front of the train? Doc, whatever he's asking you to do, please, just... Don't do it, all right? You, you need to stay here. I need you. Sam and I need you. These children need you, please. Just don't go. Whatever he's asked, don't go. What does he want from you? That's not important. Right it now. is to me. This has never happened before. He takes people away from this carriage all the time. But not like this. He never just gives out envelopes and letters. What's going on? What's happening? Wilfred, Sam and me. Promise me, Sol. 
Promise me that yep. you'll learn. I promise. I. What I raised you with. Give these kids the, the best shot at life that they can have. This godforsaken train. Okay. If you are going to go. Say goodbye to them first, please. Like, are you going somewhere, Doc? See, boys and girls, um, Wilford built us this train. The wonderful Wilford. To protect us from the cold. But what he didn't realise is the heat that's stayed within. And, well, now, with Top gone, I, um, I don't really know what to do. I do. We're going to keep on doing what we've always done. We're going to survive. 